Now here's a little extra challenge that I'm going to set you. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do it, but not everything. Remember to hide and show our variables. We can tick them here. To change the way our variable looks, we can right click and choose different appearances. So what I've done is I've set that one to be large readout and on my stage over here I have painted a new backdrop. Click that. And you'll see it goes to backdrops. In fact, let me close that. If you go to stage and you just click backdrops, you will then be able to use the text tool and the line tool to create a table that shows you that will you'll be able to put your variables inside. So let me show my twos variable, drag it to where I want it to be, right click it and choose large readout. So once I've collected my, created my backdrop on my stage, I can start to put my variables in so that it automatically shows you what your binary number is. And you'll notice I've left it blank so I can carry it on if I'm converting to 8-bit and above. Have a play and see if you can do that.